today's YouTube video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite cover three bombs out of the New England Patriots offensive ebook that we just released. And you could pick this ebook up, the full ebook that has over 300 pages of material with over 36 formations broken down and over 10 hours of video content. You can pick that full offensive ebook up in the description of this video. We're just going to show you a quick sample play uh, from it. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and what I do here is I help people get better at Madden 21. That's all I do, and uh, and I do that through tips and tricks on YouTube every single day. I also do that through my text message membership where I release high-level Madden schemes every single week, and I also do that through my official eBooks, which are super, super intense and super, super high-level and this specific one that we just released was our New England Offensive eBook, uh, which you can pick up in the description of this video. But I want to share with you uh, this sp specific route concept that you can use out of the gun split close pass. Now, um, split close pass is super, super powerful. There's a lot that you can do from this formation. Um, there's a lot that I think that most people don't really realize how powerful this formation can be. Um, until they actually face it in a live online match okay so we're going to show you a cover three bomb today um, now to run this cover three bomb you do need either a slot apprentice or a tight end uh, or i would just say you need a slot apprentice um, or a hot route master right if you have either one of those you're going to be good um, so in in regs obviously i would recommend using the bucks with this scheme if you're playing mutt it's not that hard to get a slot apprentice out in that position or to get a, um, or to get just a, uh, a, uh, a hot rub master quarterback. So the play is Y out, okay, from gun split close pass. That's the play. And um, just to kind of give us a little bit extra time, I'm going to just kind of call out the dogs a little bit here. Now what you're going to see is the only adjustment that I need to make to this is I'm going to take Gronk, and I'm just going to put him on a corner route. That's all I'm going to do, and just stab the ball. And what you'll see is this streak's going to do all the work in the world for you. You're just going to pass that to the right. Once he gets, um, once you see that right side corner kind of go to the corner route, that's when, at that point, that's where you're going to pass lead this to the right. Now, um, you can sometimes actually get this to work against, um, you can sometimes actually get this to work against just a standard coverage with that out route. Um, you'll see here, CI does drop down there. So you do get the same thing. So you really don't necessarily have to have a slot apprentice. Um, it just works a little bit better, in my opinion, if you do, um, just based on kind of what I've seen. So one of the things that they're going to do as a result of this is they're going to deep half their safeties on the outside, right? That's, that's a great little you know, idea uh, for this. And what you'll see here is this route to circle is now going to get covered deep, okay, as you can see. Now, you might have a chance for a user catch or whatever, but it's going to get covered deep. However, if they run press coverage on you, I want to show you this real quick. Let's say they run press coverage on you and they do that. That same strategy, but it's from press man to man or press coverage. You see here he's in this in this route. If I just lob this over the top, I've got a decent chance of actually getting over the top of the defense, especially if I have a fast player there. If that's Deion Sanders or Tyree Kill and Mutt, um, or even Lance Allworth, um, that's actually a really decent concept. Um, especially if you do something like this, you take your tight end, maybe you put him on a streak or a corner route, either one of those two things. Um, but what you'll see here is there's a, a little point at which if I get this out there and I can't quite get it here, but if you have a faster wide receiver, if you have a speed advantage, you can actually hit that uh, fairly consistently. But you know, if they, if they are able to cover that, that's fine. Um, we're just going to take our high low lead here on the right side. And what you'll see is this tight end out route. Um, as long as Brady doesn't, like completely freak out and actually randomly get five yards. Uh, we'll show you this here one second. As long as Brady um, can can get a little bit of time in the pocket here, what you'll notice is let's say they deep half on the outside, right? If they deep half on the outside, okay, I see. Okay, the corner's following, following, following. Okay, and then I just take my tight end route. Once you see the corner turn his body and run with that deep streak, um, that's where you're just going to say, okay. We'll just go to our next read. Now, what's really, really cool about this route, and we're going to get into this in just a second, is let's say that they're deep. Half, let's say that you notice a common theme. And the common theme is that they are deep halfing like nobody's business out there on that cover three side, right? 
you can actually turn this into a pretty cool little concept uh, against a few path. You're just going to take the tight end, put him on a streak. Motion Godwin out to the right. And what you'll notice here is I can pass lead this hard to the right. If I have pass lead elite or gunslinger, it will actually give me a big play against deep half uh, corners. So they're not going to be able to just sit back and, and go ahead and just, you know, deep half up and up and down the field. You're going to have answers to that from this you know, close play. As you'll see right here, see how he kind of drifts back and I can get this ball out into the right, flick on. I almost made that catch there, um, but that's kind of what I'm seeing and that's what I'm looking at um, post snap. Now it works a lot better if they are off coverage, I will say that. Um, if they're on, if they're pressing up with their cover three and they're doing that deep half, you'll see here again, just get that motion snap out there. Let him get his body uh, outside there. And we weren't able to get that there. It might be because of Jair Alexander's um, ability because Jair Alexander does have a, a a deep out KO, I believe. Um, but you can you can kind of experiment with that. I think you'll find more success than you'll find um, that it doesn't work. Um, just because again, that little angle right there, click on uh, and just make that catch with Chris Godwin. So you can you could still use this streak route. And and what's really nice is let's say they're running uh, man to man, um, and let's say they're running like cover one style man to man coverage, right? What's really nice about this route is it will get over top a lot of man-to-man -man coverages. So you can get that corner route out there to Gronk. You can also hit your streak over the top. If they're not playing uh, disciplined coverage over the top with that, they, you can hit that um, you know, fairly, fairly successfully as long as there's no safety over the top. So if they're pressed up, and, and Jair Alexander's ability might help him a little bit here. But what you'll see is once he gets off the jam, just a hard outside pass. You click on, you see you get a step on the guy. You just want to make sure that, uh, obviously, if he's lit up, you're not going to have that same separation. But all in all, uh, what's really nice about this is you also have some nice backside stuff. Um, these little ghost routes from split close are really, really effective. Um, you can just check down to your ghost route pretty much any time. Um, and, and, and you're not going to have to worry about anything. Because, again, let's, let, me, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So let's say you know everything breaks down and they end up stopping the cover three bomb on the right. You could come back over here and just playmaker this ghost, and he's going to drag across the field for you as it, it turns him into a drag route, basically, uh, a delayed drag route. The other thing I really like about this play is this dig route to Mike Evans is really effective. From this formation, um, you'll find that these dig routes, these little out routes, they're really, really, really effective, um, and they're just really hard to stop. Um, and don't ever underestimate motion snapping this route right here. I mean, this... This route is really, really good when you motion snap it. But, um, but anyways, guys, that's the split close paths uh, cover three beater. Hope you enjoyed the video. And also, again, if you want to get the full ebook, we have a full. Uh, again, the ebook is very, very intense. It's very, very long, but it's also very good. And you don't have to use everything from it. Some people are a little intimidated by the size. Some people are excited by it. So, um, what I talk about in the first page of the ebook is I say. You can use as much or as little of this as you want to. In fact, you could only take five pages out of the ebook and you could find a complete offense in it. I really believe it's that powerful. What I wanted to do was give you a comprehensive ebook on one of the best playbooks in Madden history and share literally everything that you could possibly think of from this formation or from these, uh, not from the formation, but from the playbook and allow you to create your own scheme within it. Maybe you run more gun bunch. Maybe you run more gun spread. Maybe you run more gun trips. Maybe you run more split close. Maybe you run more ace slot. Maybe you run ace close. You know, I don't know what how you're going to play this, but what I'm trying to get at here is this is a guide for everybody. It's the most balanced and the best offense in Madden 21 by far. So far, we've had so many people that have picked up this ebook and have said that this has transformed their offense literally overnight, and they didn't know that that could happen. So I personally guarantee you that this will work for you. Now, if you're still on the fence, I want to offer you a couple of free sample formations directly from the ebook. We break down a couple of the big time formations, like the ace slot offset, the split close, uh, the gun wide off trips pats. Uh, we break down three different sample formations for you from this ebook as previews. And that's actually, interestingly enough, over three hours of video content for you um, from this ebook. So like I said, it's over 10 hours of video content, um, but we are continually adding to this as well um, and, and giving you guys different things that you can do from this offense. Um, this is the offense that I've been running in weekend league. And so far I haven't lost a game yet. Um, so I've really, really enjoyed 
uh, using this offense. It's been very, very effective. If you want to just score the ball, um, if you want to be able to move the ball against any defense, any type of scheme that anyone's running, this is the offense for you. Anyways, um, if you want that free sample, all you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text. Let me know you'd like to receive the sample, and I'll get it to you uh, probably by the end of the day today. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And if you uh, want to pick up the ebook, the link's in the description. If you have any questions, any Madden questions at all, always can text me. My number's all, my cell phone's always open. Just shoot me a text. Uh, and, again, my number's 812-216-3644. It's also in the description if you're looking for it uh, after the video clears up. So thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, we got another video coming here in a few short hours. And then uh, we'll see you guys uh, later on tonight.